Did you know you can borrow against your stock portfolio, use your stocks as collateral and make an investment into anything else other than buying more stock? And the cost of funds in doing this can be as little as one and a half to two percent. Hey everybody, this is Dan Blackwell. And on this video, I wanna talk about an opportunity that we discovered with working with an investor client. Uh, this client, for example, has a substantial stock portfolio. They bought a bunch of stock in the downturn. Those stocks have shot up in value. They're happy with their investments, but they have a ton of equity in their stocks. And they also own a couple multifamily assets that they're happy with, and they wanna acquire another coastal multifamily building. And they've liked one of the buildings that we just listed in the marketplace. And they came to us and said, hey, we wanna buy this building. We don't really have enough money. We don't wanna do a 1031 exchange out of one of our existing buildings. We don't wanna sell. Um, and then we could sell our stock, but then we gotta pay tax and then go buy this building. That's kind of the conundrum. Well, they checked in with their financial advisor and their advisor told them that they could do a pledged asset line of credit against their stock portfolio and get the money within three to seven business days. They're using the stocks as collateral. There is risk because they're borrowing, putting on debt against your stocks. That's not very common, uh, but they're only borrowing 50% off their stock portfolio. So they have a stock portfolio of approximately $3 million. They're borrowing one and a half million off their stock portfolio, and they're gonna go buy this coastal multifamily property in cash. So there's not a lot of extra risk with buying a multifamily property in cash. There's gonna be some arbitrage off the cash flow that the apartment produces, which is a little over 4% on a cash flow basis and the cost of funds are just under 2%. So there's a little bit of arbitrage there and in case the, the rates go up against this loan, the, the pledged asset line of credit is a variable rate. So it's not something that's designed to be a long-term uh, debt solution, but it is great for a short-term situation like this where an investor wants to acquire a property, doesn't want to get hit with a bunch of tax, and then later will renovate and refinance this property and pay off or down their line of credit. So I thought it was worth shooting this video and sharing this with you. There's a, there's a, a number of companies that will offer a pledged asset line of credit or a secured line of credit against your stock portfolio. Um, there's Charles Schwab, JP Morgan Chase, to name a few. I spoke to them directly to, to talk about the pros and cons of this, but overall, this is something that is available within the marketplace as a tool. I am just a real estate broker. I am not a CPA. Uh, a financial advisor, I cannot make you and make any representations or warranties on this. this is something that you got to look into on your own. I just got to throw in a little disclosure there, but this is a tool under the right scenario. If you need cash right away and the cost of funds are very low and it's a relatively uh, an easy process, um, you might want to look at a pledged asset line of credit. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully this was insightful. If you have any questions on it, feel free to uh, Google pledged asset line of credit or secure line of credit against your stock portfolio. There's a lot of good tips out there. Hopefully this is a value. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.